Hi guys, this is Gloria reporting for Ifoma Edum. Nigerians are already reacting to the removal of all eyes on the Judiciary B Board by Akon. And according to them, this is wrong and it's a violation of the rights of the citizens of Nigeria because we all have the right to air our view. We have the right to freedom of speech. So why will you stop the people from saying what is in their hearts? They are just talking to the judiciary. Please do the right thing in this ongoing presidential election petition tribunal. So why will you go ahead to destroy the B-board? Like we all know, yesterday, Akon suspended two of their senior staffs that approved the b-board and we're beginning to wonder and i will be taking us through the journey how people are reacting on twitter and then i will begin with that of atiku abubakar the presidential candidate of the pdp in the 2023 presidential election the presidential candidate of the people's democratic party in the 2023 election atiku abubakar has flayed president bola tinubu over the destruction of b boards in strategic locations in the federal capital territory drawing public attention to the judiciary as nigerians await the verdict of the courts in the presidential election petition tribunal speaking through his special assistant on public communications mr frank shaibu Atiku described the destruction of the B-boards which had the inscription all eyes on the judiciary as a clear evidence of President Bola Tinibu's authoritarianism and assault on the freedom of speech. Yes guys, this is it. There's no other way to define this than trying to close the mouth of people, to stop people from airing their view. For me, I don't see anything wrong with that. The people are watching the judiciary and I just want them to know. And placing B-Bots, B-Bots donated by Nigerians, not by any politician. It is actually from Nigerians. You can't say it's from Labour Party. You can't say it's from PDP. It's from the people of the country. And they are not partisan. They are just trying to tell the judiciary, we are watching you people. We want you people to do the right thing. And then you go ahead to destroy the B-Bot. Why are you destroying the B-Bot if this is not trying to close the mouths of the people and to use force on Nigerians? Also, Nigerians on Twitter are not finding it funny at all and they are airing their views about it. This one here say, removal of b boards stating all eyes on the judiciary is a violation of the constitutional right to freedom of expression. There is nothing inciting in this message and no one should be targeted for that. The law allows the courts to be amenable to criticism and scrutiny. Another one here says, destroying all eyes on the judiciary billboards cannot stop an idea whose time has come. Gone are the days when politicians will rig elections and Nigerians will just move on. Justice must be done this time. Nigerians, keep your eyes on the judiciary. Hmm. This one here says, we have gone digital. The message is the same. All eyes on the judiciary. That's the thing, guys. You can't stop them from mounting billboards but you cannot stop people from saying their hearts on social media you cannot stop people from calling out the judiciary on social media another one here says is akon acting under pressure did anybody push akon to come out with this statement is akon statement a cover-up as a result of pressure from certain interested parties ruben abati Another one here says, Nigeria has become a state of injustice. Did you also notice that because of just approving the all eyes on the judiciary B board, Akon dissolved the entire advertising standards panel, ASP Secretariat? Another one here says, the destruction of B boards with the inscription, all eyes on the judiciary, ahead of the Nigeria's presidential election petition judgment, is a clear evidence of President Bola Tinubu's authoritarianism and assault on freedom of speech, says Atiku Abubakar's camp. Benjamin Mayor said, Tinubu's wrong move, pulling down all eyes on the judiciary billboards, have no negative effect on Nigerians. He only created a conducive atmosphere for fresh ideas. We are now on the mobile billboard. At official bouts, you and APC called for it. And here it is, all eyes on the judiciary. If anyone complains about the billboard that says, all eyes on the judiciary, remind them that the Nigerian Supreme Court 
overturned a judgment to favor Senator Ahmed Lawan, who never participated in legitimate primaries for the Senate's race in Yobe State. Mindset tweeted, The judiciary has never felt this much eyes on them. Who is scared of eyes on the judiciary? All eyes. On the judiciary so i got really pissed at the big board issues surrounding the all eyes on the judiciary guess what i got motivated and started printing stickers will be in their faces whether they like it or not all eyes on the judiciary this is it they are forcing nigerians to be more creative to bring more creative ways of watching the judiciary to bring more creative ways of holding the judiciary accountable and it's it's worth it. The people want back their mandate, and it's very simple. I don't know why our governments of the day just keep insisting and forcing Nigerians, not knowing that we have gotten to a point where we, we are already tired. We want the best for our nation. Okay, all of us have been saying it now that the greatest must do their job without fear or favor, without you know, no matter whose ox is got. That's the received wisdom there. You know, so it's a, it's a two way thing. I can't hide under the fact that, well, it's a regulatory authority, but it's ACON acting under pressure. Did anybody push ACON to come out with this statement? Is ACON's statement a cover-up as a result of pressure from certain interested parties? But as for the statement, yes, the judiciary is under pressure. After all, the recent... Uh, uh, you know, uh, NBA Spiegel uh, conference. The only issue was about the role of the judiciary and the role of lawyers who uh, are forum shopping and, uh, you know, misbehaving contrary to the rules of conduct, you know, in this entire process. So as a statement, not many people will quarrel with it. So the question, the relevant question to raise is, is ACOM acting truthfully? Was ACOM pushed? And why? Because this will not even stop people from seeing all eyes on the judiciary. Oh, Certainly, yeah. all months. eyes are on the judiciary. That's the hashtag. But the judiciary should also not be intimidated. All right. Because, because that will be contentous. The judiciary is a, is, is a statutory arm of government that has a duty to perform. Now, aggrieved parties have a right to express opinions on what they expect from the judiciary. Now, if the opinion of uh, aggrieved parties outside of the law and the judicial system is deemed to be pressure, I don't understand what kind of pressure that is. If, for instance, you're in the hospital for surgery, is an appendicectomy that's about to be carried out, and some of your relations are outside and they are complaining that, oh, they, this doctor should do this and the other one, it doesn't affect the diagnosis. So let's put a few facts straight on the table. Number one. If you go into a contest, it means you accept the rules of the contest. So if you go for an election, your expectation is that you'll either win or lose. Now, part of also the demo part, of part of the tools, or what you find in the toolkit of the democratic enterprise, is the judicial process. So you go for elections, results are not satisfactory from your point of view, you move to the next level, which is statutory, which is mandatory, which is constitutional, that is the law. So you go there, you also don't tell the judiciary to finish it in 30 minutes. You look at the existing law, you have a law, you, you're supposed to go through this at the tribunal for 180 days, you have another 60 days at the Supreme Court, I think, if I have my facts right. So you can't jump forward and say, oh, you know, I've become impatient, stop it. No. So what am I leading up to? There are opinions, there are concerns, there are even hysterical reactions to what is going on in the judiciary regarding the elections. It is the, the duty of the judiciary to conduct itself with dignity. The little I know of what should happen in a court is that the, the, the presiding uh, justices will say according to the evidence before me. Now, if somebody is shouting in the outside the hall, or people are wrestling at the stadium in uh, Surulere, and from, from there they are making comments, should that distract somebody who has evidence before him? So I think also there has to be some greater discipline in the conversation regarding this matter so that we don't begin to assume or pretend that what does not matter matters. Like we keep saying always on this channel, all what Nigerians want is good leadership. That's what they want and that's why we are calling on the judiciary at this point in time. 
to do the right thing. Even if these billboards are destroyed, like we have seen, even if they get to destroy them, that does not mean that we will stop holding the judiciary accountable. That does not mean that we will stop our campaigns on social media. No, Nigerians are not backing down. Nigerian youths are ready. Both the aged ones, we are ready because we are tired of this government. We are tired of recycling leaders who have no clear plans to help Nigerians. That's why we want the judiciary to do the right thing in the ongoing election petition tribunal thank you guys for watching this video please do well to like this video please do well to share your thoughts in the comment section and please do well to subscribe to our channel so you get notified whenever we post a new video